Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. You join me in a beautiful sunny day in Wisconsin. This is part two of my little Halo TV series reveal. Yesterday, we had a look at the Fleetcom Mongoose. Tomorrow, we're having a look at the Fleetcom Warthog, and today, it's the Renegade Banshee. And let me tell you a few little points here. First of all, I'm not the first to this information by a long, long stretch. I was at the Halo Championship Series for a week, and also, I didn't want to talk about leaks. I was waiting until I got the official assets from Mega, so I got a few images that maybe you didn't see before. I got some few little tidbits that you don't know, perhaps. And we're just going to talk through a really, really gorgeous release today. So... An iconic Halo vehicle is reinterpreted for a new medium. The buildable Banshee aircraft from Halo is modeled after the version seen in the all-new television series. This thing looks remarkably cool. And the previous Banshee we got was the Arbiter's Quest. <laughs> Which was, in every way, a beautiful release. And, in my opinion, probably had slightly more detail on the Banshee itself just because the amount of hexagonal details on both that Arbiter's Quest release and the Ghost of Requiem was just second to none. But this is still an exceptional looking vehicle and has some really interesting new pieces that we've never seen from a Banshee before because we've seen a lot of Banshees. And believe you me, I am alongside most people that are a little tired of vehicle and figure packs because essentially we've got them non-stop for like 15 years and we've had some incredible alternatives to that uh, sort of textbook approach but it has mostly been that and this is you know more of that. With a few exceptions, the Fleetcom Warthog does have a couple more play features that set it apart from just being a vehicle. And this one does come with an authentic um, named character, which is not very common for vehicle release packs. I guess the Ghost of Requiem did come with Gechlahar, but it's not, a, it's not that common. This comes with Sorin006, one of the original Spartans that actually dropped out of the Spartan program, which I got to say, uh, despite some of the flaws of the Halo TV series, I loved the character arc of Sorin. I actually thought it was pretty, pretty dope. Um, yeah, you can pick up out the TV series as much as you want, but I honestly enjoyed it. And I'm not going to shy away from that. I'm not ashamed of that. I think it was pretty good with some elements that needed some serious work. But one thing that pretty much no one disagrees with about the Halo TV series were the assets. The character designs were gorgeous. And you can see that in this set. This elite miner looks incredible it might be my favorite elite and i've ha i've held this figure in my hands back in july i was back in july now it's time is flying by i held this figure in my hands back in july and i gotta tell you it is pro it's probably the most highly detailed elite we've ever got the amount of paint apps on this thing is dumb the same with soren 006, 006 and kevin mcx you know i actually have a video coming out soon i can't show any footage of it yet because of licensor approvals but i have a video coming out soon where kevin and i sit down and review this set as well as the mongoose and the warthog and tons of other things and um w during that video kevin uh reiterates quite a few times that these are like halo hero level paint apps and you can really see like that like they look incredible even the energy sword and soren's pistol and yes it is super rare that we get vehicle packs from halo mega that have painted weapons but all of these tv series figures have painted weapons there is a clear move towards authentic like bespoke collectibles for adults in these these sets uh, than really we've ever seen before i think and i'm really excited about that change and there are some things coming later next year that will blow your mind I don't want to say blow your mind. Manage your expectations. They'll be really dope. This Banshee has a lot of paint apps as well, um, particularly the wings on the back. I don't know exactly what they're called. Uh, the little the little panels on the back. My mind is blanking because I'm trying to do this in one take. But the little panels on the back of the Banshee, they are actually really cool. They're printed and they're unique pieces and they look amazing, as well as a load of the other paint apps on this vehicle. Banshees have never been something that I'm all that into collecting. I don't know why I've always been more of a UNSC vehicle kind of guy let me know what you are down below but this looks awesome and the packaging looks badass too they've gone for more of a photorealistic approach they've got that uh, madrigal mining station in the background i believe that's probably what it is oh the opening fight of that uh, madrigal like uh, the 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 uh, covenant in that 
scene uh, ruthless um of all the three tv show sets it is kind of a shame that we're only getting one covenant figure and i would love to see a lot more like i i would have loved to see like this banshee come with three elites uh, not that it would but you know it only retails for 20 dollars though twenty dollars is good for this the mongoose was ten dollars the warthog is four no the warthog is 40 yeah 40 that's really good these are available to pre-order on entertainmentearth.com right now and there's been drops in and out on amazon they're slated for a spring release but they might start coming out soon the mongoose is definitely releasing within the next couple of weeks yeah the packaging looks great uh the figure designs look awesome a little fun fact for you the soarin 066 figure on one hand he has a normal human hand and on one hand he has an elite hand and that's to represent the augmentations that he's gone through so i think that's a really cool touch his spartan armor under the cloak looks amazing i believe it's probably the same cloak that we've seen from like call of duty sets um he definitely has a call of duty pistol but it works well i mean the whole set works really well and for 20 dollars, that is an excellent price point and i'm really hoping i'm really crossing my toes and fingers and pointing to the stars and hoping that these are stocked by target and walmart i want to see distribution back to those stores and i don't know a tv show set backed by paramount plus is probably the best way to get distribution back to those stores because distribution has never failed like it's never faltered because the Pokemon sets are distributed everywhere, same as Hot Wheels. But we just need Halo to be added in back into that inventory. And I think this might be the way to do it. So please do check out my review for Fleet Com Mongoose yesterday and join me tomorrow for my review of Fleet Com Warthog images. I'm going to have an official review with Kevin MCX of this soon and tons of videos from the Halo Championship Series final. It was an absolute blast met a lot of really great subscribers there um and really wholesome to like you know meet fans and 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 be part of the halo community in such a big way and in general i'm just hyped for this set also soren 066 and the uh the john jimmy rings in the fleet com warthog uh if, if one of the first if not the very first time meg has ever modeled an actual actor or actress's likeness onto a figure so really cool to see that as well so yeah um this has been uh, Halo Boy Jimmy Rings and I hope you enjoyed and as always you stay awesome you stay safe and let me know down below is your opinion of the Halo TV series going to impact whether you buy this set or not I'll be forwarding some of the feedback back to Mega all right signing off see you next time folks <laughs>